let's take a quick peek inside and check out the studio. Right, so this is the behind the scenes that you'll hardly ever get to see normally, but they've got systems set up everywhere. There's cables, there's wiring, there's everything all over the place. And this is the stage. And as you can see, it looks like a typical stage. So what you're seeing online is when they had all the magical elements. The whole Unreal Engine is all over the place. So let's go ahead and take a closer look up here, come on. Big crane cameras, side cameras, everything. This stuff is so cool. And then if you look up, we've got monitors where they start to show you what it looks like for the audience. So what you guys normally see, right? So if you look there in the camera, I don't know if you can see that, but I'm starting to come up onto the stage but the, the cool part is, and this is what you guys won't see if we've done everything right during the live broadcast, but there's a monitor right over there and it shows me kind of just appearing inside of the stage. Super cool. So here I go, I just come up and all of a sudden I'm walking into the room and if I get to the right spot, I'm in the room. This is real, the chairs are real, the rest is not. How cool is that? They've got the big crane camera. This one flies in from the top, shows the different perspective, adds in all the, the augmented reality perspectives. Then you've got the two cameras on the side. They've got uh, teleprompters, which we are actually not using. <laughs> so crazy, um, but they're there if we needed to, but usually it just puts a clock up and tells us how much time we have left. Um, but then, yeah, they're building the engine right now. They're, they're just building the environment. Super cool, absolutely amazing tech. This is just, it's a mix of virtual reality, augmented reality, physical space, just amazing. Um, the crew is utterly awesome. Um, just how they're pulling us all together, bringing it together, adding in elements for us on the fly. You know, we're, we're just people, right? We're not professionals. We don't do video and studios for a living. So the crew is really making this possible and just amazing. Just speechless half the time when I realize what I'm doing and where I am. But to be honestly inside of a video game is just amazingly cool. Unbelievable. It truly is magic. One of the main differences I think that virtual tech ed has with a regular physical event is the amount of people that we're going to be able to reach. At a physical event, you might have three, four, five thousand people, but here we're talking about tens and thousands of people, right? We're talking about maybe 40, 50, 60, 100,000 people that will be able to look at the content, will be able to engage through a chat, a Q&A, they'll be able to understand what SAP has to offer, and they'll even be able to get hands-on experience. Um, we have workshops this year that are sort of like the physical hands-on event that we used to have at Physical Tech Ed, but they can, done, they can be done completely remotely, so completely um, from a participant's own computer. They don't need to be in a specific uh, room, in a specific event to be able to complete them. And I think that gives a lot of new people, a lot of a newer audience, the possibility to use SAP software to understand how to do it and to get really the benefits of what SAP has to offer.
What I really hope for this year's Tech Ed, um, I really hope that as hosts for Channel One, we can really engage with the audience. We can point them to interesting content tracks. We can point them to interesting information. We can actually react live to what's happening maybe on social media or any other kind of, yeah, social media platform. And we can really help the um, help the audience understand where they want to go because tech ed this year offers a lot of content we have over 500 sessions um, so it's really important to be able to guide and orientate people into exactly what they're looking for and of course since we're live um, hopefully we'll be able to give kind of tips and tricks and you know let people know extra tidbits back behind the stage information um, all that kind of neat stuff that they wouldn't get to see in a regular regular physical event Well, I would say this is certainly a super ambitious project to have a humble term for that. A live show with 48 hours, with this technology, with three cameras, and that level of production hasn't been achieved or been produced in Europe so far. to do 48 hours live with a lot of people with brand new facilities, with brand new technology and with a big step into a completely new TV world. Yeah, that's the big goal here, to realize it and to bring them all alive. What we're doing is a world premiere, to be honest. Um, this is the first time um, that someone uses an Unreal Engine um, for setting up this whole virtual setup. So that means uh, we have three cameras, we have uh, fully tracked camera systems, um, and the tracking systems, they um, operate the computers and the servers. That means um, all the virtual graphic elements are tracked by cameras and are moving real time around the hosts. Um, it's, it's a very ambitious project, that's, that's correct, 48 hours live stream, um, you need a large team and everything got to click together. Uh, we have a team that is working in two shifts because when you do a 48 hour live stream, sometime you got to uh, get a pause and get some sleep. So the most challenging thing in my point of view is basically that you have to take care of that the audience will not see a difference between the first and the second unit. So it's got to be a, a good flow and uh, I think we're on a good way. There they are, guys, welcome to our studio. For this project, we created the main idea where we want to go with SAP TechEd, where we want to go with the community, what we want to show the community um, and how we want to show it. So we created this crazy 3D Unreal environment. So in this environment, we have a community house where we invite the community to come inside and experience all this great learning, information, deep dive content, uh, expert talks, to bring this event to a global community which is all over the world and can experience it virtually. This year we had to shift everything completely from a physical event to a virtual experience. It really was a huge adventure over the last month, really changing from a complete physical concept into such a large virtual project. There are so many different components we needed to think about and it was really also for us, as you know, this event is all about learning. And so it was the same for us on that end.
braveness is rewarded with joy. So this is really what is happening here. People, the client, everybody involved here was brave enough to take this on and I think we're heading towards an outstanding result. So this whole process is really, uh, I'm enjoying it very much.